Hi there! Welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, last week I talked to you guys about my favorite Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. So this week I'm going to be actually talking to you guys about my least favorite Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. Um, I'm not one to dwell on negativity or anything like that, but there are some designs that I just didn't get. <laughs> and if you're like me, you gotta talk about it. So um, feel free, this is going to be like a top 10, top worst, I guess, 10 um pokemon list video kind of like how they used to do it in the back in the og poketuber days um so if you are into that and you want to hear my opinions just keep on watching okay so number 10 so this is going to be like not as bad to the worst <laughs> um in terms of ranking and stuff so um number 10 for me is tatsuguri now i think this might be controversial I don't know, but I initially saw this, and I thought it was such a cute, like, design I, the, for a sushi Pokemon, and the fact that it's dragon type is super interesting, the fact that there's color variations is also very, very cool, um, more on color variations later, um, but I thought it was cute, right, I thought it was, like, three is a good enough, good number, um, like, it, it's, I thought it was cute, the only problem I have with this is, like, and then, like, they had a relationship with, like, the sushi chef, related Pokemon. I just didn't like the fact that like it didn't evolve again. A lot of Pokemon in in this game don't evolve for some reason. I there's I don't know. It just felt like that to me. And I was like, okay, why? Why all the single stage evolutions? What um so yeah, I, I didn't like that it, they didn't take any time to do anything with the evolution or they didn't like they could have easily just tied it to um the sushi I can't remember his name right now. I'm so sorry. But the sushi chef themed Pokemon too. They could have had it evolve into that and I would have been satisfied like that could have been literally really interesting lore um but yeah these two aren't related in that way even though i feel like they really could be so that's the only reason it's like at number 10 it's just because i feel like awesome like killer 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 potential and i just i felt like it was like a half-baked idea or an idea that didn't like fully take off so that's why Tuskiri is at number 10. Okay, number nine number nine is palmo slash palmot and i put both of them in here because honestly Again, I know I got on, like, them not doing enough evolutions, but in this case, this evolution line was really not needed. Like, there was too much. I felt like um, it was a three-stage Pikachu clone, basically, but there wasn't enough variation in between these two designs, really, to really justify them being different Pokemon. And I evolved mine. Like, you have to do, like, a special... Like, you have to walk a certain way or walk a certain amount or whatever to get um the final evolution and i did that and i was kind of disappointed because i was like okay this the middle stage could have clearly been cut out um because one it felt like a really like it was cute like the, the, palmy is cute and adorable don't get me wrong um and there's some pikachu clones i like and some i don't like the dede is one of my favorite pokemon too of all time is the nene up there there it is yeah so you can see the dene in the back um i love the dene and, and it's a single stage evolution because it doesn't need to be improved upon. The design is perfect. Um, so, but like, I just felt like this one, it was the middle stage was a little unnecessary or if, or, you know, just, I don't know if they're trying to relate it to like the Gorichu beta designs or whatever. This guy, like the final evolution gave me Goku vibes. I don't know. Um, so, so yeah, but like, I, it just wasn't for me. I thought it was, I felt like that effort could have gone into a different Pokemon that really needed an evolution in this game and they just gave it to a Pikachu clone because it's a Pikachu clone and that kind of like annoyed me a little bit. So that's why it's here at number nine. Now, this is a, uh, I don't know, Squawkabilly's number eight. Squawkabilly's okay. I, I like the pun. I like the inspiration. I love the, the design for this bird. It's just, again, I felt like, unnecessary effort was put into this um i get that there was like color variations and i don't mind pokemon with color variations they've done that for other birds too like with the oreo Corios, but they at least gave the oreo Corios like different typings or like if there's a color variation like with gastronon it's like based on location or even with like the um the villain is that its name the butterfly from gen 6 yeah, it was based on location too, and those were cool gimmicks, but Squawkabilly, I don't know. <laughs> I, I found it a little underwhelming, and it was the same idea where they tried to put effort into this design that could have gone for other Pokemon. Um, I thought it was funny, but it's like another parrot Pokemon, and it's just okay for me. Okay, number seven. Number seven, number seven is an opinion. <laughs> okay, Dodone's Forest. Let's talk about it. I don't know how to feel, because... 
Pokemon fans have been wanting an evolution for Junk's Bars for years. Years and years and years. It's been like one of the asks for every new Pokemon gen, right? Maybe not the major ask, right? Um, but it's been an ask for a long time. And with the John Sparks, it felt like just like, um, it's like, it's obviously like a meme because John Sparks is kind of just like a derpy meme Pokemon. But like, I don't know, it was that little salty girl. Like, I don't know if that was Pokemon telling us to all calm down or what. Um, but I like, you could have done like, some fan art for um Don Sparse's potential evolution has been really cool. It like makes it like a Quetzalcoatl looking like the creature, um, just like kind of like a Magikarp Gyarados type thing where it becomes something totally incredible. Um, and they could have done that, but they chose not to. They instead gave it an extra little bump and called it the Don Sparse because it's funny. Haha, <laughs> I don't know. So like part of me is a little better about that, but part of me appreciates the humor. So. I don't know. That's why I put this at seven. I don't think I was outraged by it by it, as some other folks, and I don't think I love it as much as some other folks because it is cheeky, and there's some people that really like that like cheeky, um, like humor and attitude. I I think I'm somewhere in the middle. That's why I put this at seven. But I felt like this Pokemon was worth mentioning because, um, I think it's like a, it was like a controversial decision by Pokemon, and I don't know if that's a decision I would have made, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, number six is Sandy Shocks. This makes no sense to me. <laughs> so I played Scarlet, um, and that is the version of the game where you get, like, prehistoric-looking Pokemon, right? Um, why? A lot about this is prehistoric. I don't get it. It They gave it a bunch of hair. Cool. But this is, like, inorganic material. I What? What, maybe I need to do more research on this to see how it makes sense. But just going off of, like, design, this doesn't make... Some of the other, like, Pokemon, like, the prehistoric look Pokemon look awesome. Totally awesome. Um, you know, I, incredible, incredible designs. But, like, this one was the one that kind of, like, threw me off. And maybe they were doing it just because they wanted something different. And they wanted to say, hey, ha, gotcha, we've turned a, um, an organic, like material looking Pokemon into a prehistoric one um and like you know I've seen some other like Poketubers do speculations on how they think like um there was like an ancient society and uh that had some sort of tech already and that explains the time travel motifs or whatever um but yeah I just thought this was like an ugly design I just think it's ugly I'm sorry it's not my favorite if you like Sandy Shocks I'm sorry but that's why it's here Okay, now we're getting to the top five. So these are more, I think, like, hater hater opinions. But number five, number five for me is Houndstone. I wanted I wanted to like this because I think Greenguard's adorable. And, like, you know, I have some pets that have passed away. And so I thought this concept would be really cool. It would be really sweet and really cute. And I think that, again, the first stage evolution looks great. I think this design is better than the evolution design. Because I get it, they want it, it's a ghost type, they want it to look scary, they want it to look like, you know, Grim Reaper type thing, or like, you know, make it more spooky Um, but I, I hate the bones coming out of the dog, and I hate the skull head, like, the blatantly obvious skull head, and the, it just, it loses the fact that this could be someone's pet, you know what I mean? Um... This is one of the ones I think it could have actually benefited from a standalone uh, evolution. And that's on my hot take. Is that I think this is the one that could, like, just the Green Guard could have been fine by itself. You know? There's a couple dog Pokemon in this gen, too. There was, like, the um, Fido, which I thought was cute. Um, and then, uh, what was it? Bossif? Yeah, there was, like, a Mastiff themed dog. So there's quite a few dogs. Like, they didn't all necessarily need evolutions. I think Green Guard would have been fine as a standalone. Um, the other two, I think, did need evolutions, but this one, I, this evolution just made it not as personally relatable for me, and it was, like, kind of disappointed, because I was wanting to use that, and I love the motif that it pops out of the ground, like, little candles are in the ground, it just kind of, like, pops up, so cute, and the marketing for Graveyard was awesome, too, honestly, they did the found footage thing with Graveyard, and it was, oh my god, it was so much fun, that could have been, like, this gen to Dene for me, um, but they gave it such a, like, weird evolution. I guess I could still do a playthrough with it and just give it an Everstone, but I was like, how, how, why, why, why? They, it felt a little, 
maybe not over designed i don't know but like like what what are we trying to do here you know what i mean i don't know so yeah that's number five for me okay number four is Ruller. So I like the evolution after the fact, the, the psychic type dung beetle. I get it. It's like Egyptian looking and really, really cool. Ruller is gross. It's literally just a dung beater beetle. And they like most of the Pokemon design is literally just like a ball of. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's the most like 50% of this design is just a ball of excrement or like dirt or whatever even if it's not excrement in the game like that's what it's based off of so that's what i'm going to see in my head in my mind's eye um i get that that you know it turns into the scarab afterwards i get it but this one was just too hyper realistic for me and like i could not use it i could not look at it i was like mm, 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 no 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 i get the need for a pre-evolution for the for the scarab design the psychic scarab design but did it have to be this? Could we be? Could we try something else? I don't know. So yeah, that's why Reller is number four for me. Number three is Veluza. And these top, these top, these next three Pokemon, which are my least favorite Pokemon, all have a theme behind them. And we're gonna see if you can guess what the theme is. So Veluza is also a uh, standalone Pokemon. That's fine. I okay. It is a generic fish design. Generic sharp pointy fish design that we've already had in previous installments in Unaba with like Basquiat basically I didn't like that one either the one I do like that's sharp and pointy and like fish is like Sharpedo like that's cool but uh, they're just trying to carry the same energy I felt like especially after um Legends Arceus I felt like this was a weird design choice because I feel like we just had like emphasis on angular fish beforehand so for me this designs when it's come it's one of those Pokemon that's going to be forgettable for me unfortunately there's like a few water types that are like this just because they're just playing fish pokemon um so this is how it's going to be for me too but also it's just fucking annoying in game oh sorry i used my f word but it's just really annoying in game when you're like trying to go around and surf and then all of a sudden the shit just dive bombs you and attacks you out of nowhere did not appreciate that I get that's what makes the game fun because it keeps you on your toes and Legends of Arceus did this really good but it's just this particular one drove me nuts because it's like I want to forget you leave me alone <laughs> so yeah that's my number three pick so number two number two is Skull, Skull Villain okay I think this thing is so ugly <laughs> It is nasty and I was like I guess I just had a lot of hype in my head for the first fire grass Pokemon right and I get that like it makes sense it would be a pepper it makes sense it would be spicy and hot right I feel like the idea was there execution though why does it have two heads this is like a wannabe looking dark type and I don't like it the pre-evolution little chick even that's kind of ugly I get that it's supposed to be like mad and because spicy and, and hot and angry are all things that go together I guess I don't know but like I just thought that this it could have been so cool right the first grass fire Pokemon could have been so cool and this just kind of like felt like a left down for me like I went through and tried to raise it and like try to convince myself to like it because I thought the timing was so unique but like ultimately at the end of the day I ended up hating this guy every time I looked at him it no, I, I just think the proportions are off or something. Something about this I just do not like, period. Sorry. I don't know if there's any Scovillian fans out there or Scovillian, Scovillian fans, but like I'm not one of them. I'm sorry. I this felt like a slap a slap. I hated it. I hate this Pokemon. I'm sorry. This next one might shock y'all. Because if you know me, I love a feminine design. Um I love girly pop designs. So this, you would think I would like, right? No. Espartha is on my hit list for the same reason as uh, the fish from number three. Okay. This thing came out of nowhere and just attacked and like, I think it was like right before the mountain region. And I don't know if I was under leveled or what, but I had a couple that just tailed my ass. And like, I kept, oh, it was so hard to deal with them. So for that reason alone, I put this Pokemon on my list. Now, would I love this? Like, if I didn't have that experience, sure, probably, I would. I really like the pre-evolution. It's really cute. 
um, this little curly thing. But I don't know how that turns into this ostrich. I really don't. Like, if somebody can explain to me the thought process, I guess it kind of looks like an egg, like a floating egg. Um, like, I, I, mm, sure. Um, but, like, the ostrich, like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's so aggressive to me. Like, it needs to calm down. And it's just so funny because this is obviously, like, in my opinion, like, a very Lady Gaga-inspired or uh, Pokemon. But, or maybe even Sia, but, like, I don't like her. So we're going to stick with Gaga. Um, so this was, like, obviously a Gaga-inspired Pokemon, and I love me some Gaga, um, but, like, yeah, I did not use this on my team, I did not catch it, this thing drove me crazy, it was just annoying in-game, and so that kind of, like, tarnished my experience with this Pokemon forever, so that is why this Pokemon is, like, my least favorite Pokemon of all Scarlet and Violet, because I got tailed by some crazy, I got tailed by some crazy Esparthas, and that was it for me, I was like, nope, you're done, bye-bye. <laughs> So yeah, these were my least favorite Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. Um, let me know if you agree with me down in the comments below. If you have major differing opinions than me, uh, comment down below and tell me why. Like, I'd like to hear it. <laughs> sure. Um, I think these are all just differences of, of opinions and tastes, and obviously, like, this isn't real, so it's not like they're, they're high stakes for disagreeing with somebody about Pokemon. Um, but yeah, it's just these videos are kind of fun to make, and I just kind of want to do my reflective on my experience but not doing like a whole game review I guess you know what I mean so um yeah there's that but thank you so much for listening to me ramble on about these Pokemon and um if you're interested on more content I'm going to try to post these videos weekly um be sure to like comment share and subscribe so that I know that you like this type of content and until next time thanks bye